Okay, this particular video is to test the location of the motor on the EMEA or MIA Easy Gyro 1.25. And so, typically, this particular motor and propeller sits lower. Sits kind of in line with the horizontal stabilizer. So that's the thrust line in line with the horizontal stabilizer. But in this particular one, I raised it here, and this is to uh, see how the model performs with that location. Uh, so let's see if we can take off from ground. And it's flying. I could use a little more uh, positive pitch on the angle of attack, so I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to land it and adjust that. Because I am at max elevator right now. Okay, so I am going to adjust for a little bit higher angle of attack there. And I should be doing it through the mechanical links here and not through my trim. I just use my trim on my radio. And if we can see, it's about uh, halfway below the center mark on the elevator trim uh, center mark. So. I don't have the, my, my tool with me right now, it's in my car and I want to get a, a flight here so I just adjusted uh, via the trim the angle of attack which is this angle here. So with the motor higher here you got to put a little more angle of attack so you don't nose down the model. That should be fine here, I just got to pick up some, now let's do a, a run here, go a little bit further. But it is working, it's flying just fine with the motor location as I indicated at the start of this video. So this particular video is for a customer of mine actually that uh, asked about this. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so yeah, the model should be adjusted via the mechanical links to have a little more higher angle of attack on the rotor. And that way you can still have uh, your max throws on the elevator. Now I'm using pure throttle here. I'm still at max elevator, so that's the reason why I'm saying the adjustment needs to be made at the links, not at the trim, because the trim is going to lower your elevator uh, uh, throw uh, so If I can bring it back. Y turn, Y turn. Y turn, there you go. Keep it up, keep it up. Coming against the wind to raise the nose. Okay, here it goes. Landing, lower the throttle, gently. Lower the throttle, keep the throttle, keep the throttle, keep the throttle, keep the elevator. Alrighty. Now, let's go home, let's go to the car and make that link adjustment since I already got a video and it proves the point, but I'm gonna make that adjustment and do it again.
so that I have better control on my transmitter. So let's go do that right away. Okay, once again, the motor is sitting as you see it here. And my battery is sitting right against the nose or the front end of the canopy. And this is a 6 milliamp hour battery, 3 cell. on because I can't see real close without the glasses okay go. so I'm going to be I'm gonna be raising these uh, right about there that should be plenty I raised it about a uh, quarter inch on that side and equal on this side and I'm just eyeballing this okay that should do it Okay, let's change the battery. Let's go for another flight. This is another 1600. And my connection here is very simple. It's, uh, it's got the uh, bullet connectors here. And since they fit quite well on these uh, XT60s, I just left it like that. But you got to be extremely careful not to, if you do this, which I don't, I don't, I don't recommend I do this for myself because I'm... You know, I'm pretty good at, at, at this stuff, but you know, if you want to take that risk, you know, you have to make sure that the black is to the black and the red is to the red because if you connect that uh, incorrectly, you are going to burn the, the ESC, which I've done in a previous occasion because I was in a hurry and I, you know, then put the, uh, the matching uh, female or male connector XT60 on the uh, ESC side. So, just something to keep in mind. Uh, Alrighty, let's go do another flight with, with that adjustment, but now I have to readjust my trim because I just increased the uh, angle of attack mechanically there. So, let me bring back my trim to the center. That should be perfect right now. Alrighty. Make sure that the... Oh yeah, that battery is a, a nice battery, that blue one. It's, uh, I've had that battery for a, a while now. And it's been uh, one of the best batteries I, I've had. I don't know if I just got lucky or maybe that's just uh, the way these blue batteries are, the Turnages, the original blue. Because the uh, graphene batteries that I that I uh, bought not too not too long ago, I've been trying those, but those are you know they they hold the charge, but when that battery goes, I mean the model just drops like a like a brick if you're not watching it but if you have enough momentum on the autogyros you know it'll come down and parachute down which is the benefit of having a, a rotary wing model okay let's do it again oh yeah look at that beautiful now we're talking See? Very nice. There we go. Okay, I can. Okay, one of the things to keep in mind is also, as you're, if you're sinking the model, let's say you're, you know, you're coming down a little too fast there, you know, the natural reaction is to give it more throttle and pull up elevator. On an auto gyro, sometimes that is the wrong thing to do. What you want to do if you're coming down pretty hot or, or pretty fast is cut down the power and pull up a little bit of elevator, and that'll. Uh, flare the the uh, the landing or the uh, the attitude of the the model like as I'm doing here. Watch, coming down hot, lower the throttle. See how the nose just comes up. I hope this video is catching that. Lower the throttle and and the model pitches up a little bit. Now I'm going full throttle here. It's because I want to make the turn. 
and they want to keep it at that altitude. Anything lower than that, you know, you got to be prepared to compensate for that, especially when there's a uh, erratic winds. Right now there's no very slight wind, and so, you know, you can pretty much hover this, you know, when everything's set up properly. So I'll have to uh, do a side view uh, photo or a video of the model with the angle of attack on the rotor head as, uh, as a result of the, uh, the new position, or it's not a new position, it's just a different position of the motor. It's a little bit higher than, than uh, the typical way, but it's fine, just fine. Do a right turn here. Keep the throttle up. Keep that attitude. Keep that level. Give it a little throttle there to bring it out. Lower the throttle. Bring it towards you. Come down gently. Keep that throttle a little bit high. Give it full throttle up elevator gently and that thing just sh shoots up. And I'm at full throttle right now, just just letting it go. And you got to be careful. Cut down the throttle if you want to uh, maintain throttle, but not you know not excessive throttle. Get a little throttle, come around, and I'm just going to go make some uh, fast turns here. And it's just a coordination between throttle and elevator. And of course aileron because you know you're you're turning the model or I'm turning it. There we go. Cut down the throttle there because it's coming down a little a little hot. Cut down the throttle. Pull up a little elevator. Give it some throttle. And since the battery's wearing down, you know it still flies pretty high. I mean with a low battery, but it's better to time yourself and make sure that you have enough time, you know, to land the model with plenty of power. Just in case you get in trouble. There we go. Make a right turn. Give it a little throttle. Make a left turn. Right turn again. Pull up. Pull up. Otherwise it'll sink. Keep that throttle going as you turn. Okay, the battery's wearing down, so I'm going to land. Keep that throttle going. Gently, 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 gently. And I landed a little skewed there because of uh, the wind. Alright, so there you, there you have it. Me a Microflight 1.25. It's been uh, with a with a motor relocated a little bit higher than, than typical. Typically the motor sits, like I said, in line with the horizontal stabilizer and that's where you, where you want it to be. But with the motor up, up higher, that is the angle of attack as we see it here. So you can take a photo of this, of the video that I'm, that I'm doing, or just visualize this in your computer and just make a note of the angles there. You know, you have the, you have the setting basically that you need. Already, okay. This is Mario once again with me on Microflight, and thank you for watching.